Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Braden Timmons, and today, guys, this is potentially very, very big. This is potentially very big for Friday the 13th. So it appears that, well, first of all, if you guys are new here, consider clicking that subscribe button and turning on notifications for all future videos. And if you guys are into horror, slashers, monsters, all that kind of good stuff, this is more than likely a channel for you. So consider clicking that subscribe button and welcome to all new viewers. And, uh, but today, we have some shit we have to talk about regarding Friday the 13th because it appears that New Line Cinema has officially posted something on Instagram. Now, earlier today, I posted in my community section exactly what New Line Cinema posted. Now, this is the official production company, New Line Cinema. So um, it looks like that they posted something regarding Jason Voorhees. It, and it looked like that it, it said, they posted something very brief. It said, Jason Voorhees wants to send you a message. And what better way to kickstart a marketing campaign than with something like that? Just to give us a little tease as to what can potentially be up and coming. Now, there was nothing on Twitter. Uh, I saw a few of you asking if this was on Twitter. No, it was on Instagram. So if you go to New Line Cinema's Instagram, I've had a few, like, you know, my friends send it to me. I sent it to a few of my friends. And we all agree that this is not something that a production company, especially one like New Line Cinema, would post if this didn't mean anything. I mean, today's not even Friday the 13th. Today is not even Friday the 13th. It's September 1st. Um, but maybe it's just something that, you know, they want to kickstart the fall with. Maybe they want fans to speculate a little bit before they make an official announcement. But guys, this is the closest thing that we have gotten to the announcement of a Friday the 13th movie with any sort of production company due to all of the legal shit that's been going on. So I don't think a company like New Line Cinema would just post this just for shits and giggles, just because there's nothing up and coming and or cooking right now at that company. And New Line, they're not new to the Friday the 13th franchise. So I believe parts one through eight were all through Paramount and then Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X and Freddy vs. Jason were all New Line. And then when we got the remake in 2009, that was Paramount Pictures in association with New Line Cinema, or it was Paramount Pictures and New Line Cinema. They teamed up and that is what we ended up getting now i don't know if paramount is going to be the ones to team up with new line again or if this is all just going to be a new line cinema production but last i checked the nightmare on elm street franchise is also with new line cinema so here's my thoughts and you guys that know me no, I'm a big fan of this movie, but Freddy vs. Jason, guys, I'm telling you, what if they just keep the rights to Nightmare on Elm Street and we get a new Elm Street movie and then we get a Friday the 13th movie or we get a Friday the 13th movie first and then a Nightmare on Elm Street and then we get a remake of Freddy vs. Jason. I know I'm pretty much living in the freaking dream world right now. I'm living in a dream world, I would, but I personally really, really want to see another Freddy vs. Jason movie. I've been a fan of that movie since I was literally in second grade. I remember seeing it and I just loved it, but we have to get a Friday the 13th movie underway first. So Sean S. Cunningham has also apparently since taken down the uh, bio that he posted. Now, I just did a video yesterday discussing his bio uh, that he posted on Cameo, saying that he is set up to produce the upcoming Friday the 13th movie for 2023. And then that was announced last week. That was a article that came out last week. And now this week, New Line Cinema is fucking posting on Instagram and social media saying that Jason Voorhees wants to send them a message. I'm telling you guys right now that this couldn't mean something because I really don't think that a company like them would post something just for shits and giggles. Now that all they said, all their caption was, they posted the picture and then the caption was, what could Jason possibly want? And I replied to that, a new movie. So guys, we could be on the horizon. And I saw a couple of you getting pretty excited in the community section when I posted this. And I saw one person say that this is pretty much almost confirmed. And I would agree. Now again, Based on yesterday's video, I do not want to get too excited. I don't want to speculate too much and then be disappointed next year. Now, does this mean it's coming out next year? No. 
it could get bumped back, right? Because again, I really want this movie to be very successful. I want this to hit hard. And what better way to bring Jason back in 2023 when this is the last time we're going to see Michael Myers for the last time. So they might be jumping out the opportunity now to bring Jason back next year. Like this year, guys, we got a lot of really great stuff for slasher fans. Like we literally got Scream 5. We got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like the sequel that was okay. In my opinion, it was okay, but there was a lot of people that didn't really like it, and there were some people that loved it, but we got Ghostface, Leatherface. We still have Michael Myers coming back, and next year, we are still getting another Ghostface movie. We're getting Scream 6, which did just wrap production, by the way, and then we can also potentially be getting a Jason movie, man. Like, holy shit. That, like, that just gets me so excited, and that gets me so antsy, and also next year, we have another Exorcist movie coming out as well. Like, guys, horror fans are living large right now, and just to, the icing on the cake would be the announcement of a brand new Friday the 13th movie. So, again, I don't want to speculate too hard, but this is, all I'm saying, something that a production company, especially the level of New Line Cinema, would not just post for shits and giggles. I'm telling you guys that right now. So we could be on the cusp of a real announcement that there is a very, very possible chance that Friday the 13th is going to be resurrected in 2023. So that's all I'm going to say about it. We, we, I'm not going to take anything seriously until we are officially in production, but I will be talking about more and more announcements as we get them. So with all that being said, post comments down below. Let me know. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited about the possibility of seeing Jason resurrected finally after all this time next year? Whatever you guys thoughts are, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you guys like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 10,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in my next video.